Welcome to Skillist, the leader in remote golf instruction. Correct setup and posture is crucial to golf swing consistency, bounce, and power. Here are six tips from Skillist coaches to help you achieve perfect golf swing setup and posture. Okay, so this video is mostly about posture uh, and how it really influences your swing from the early outset. So if you've not got your posture right, you are gonna to struggle to hit it consistently. Um, it could do with being a little bit more athletic. Like I said to you, you kind of get your, your backside almost kind of set way behind your heel line here. And what that does really kind of separates the, the lower half from the upper half. Like really, if you want them kind of athletic, you wanna be kind of almost working together and let the club kind of work behind you. Whereas you kind of get sat back down here what that does makes it really hard. If I try and make a turn there, very, very difficult. I'm almost kind of stuck to the ground here. And that does just gets my hand path, my arm path as well, kind of straight upwards, when really we want it kind of back behind us somewhere. Any kind of athletic sport, you know, if you're a rugby or goalie, you'd be, you know, you'd be moving around a little bit. And a lot of the times that is kind of where you get your knee flex from. I like say you don't boom like this. If I keep my legs dead straight, and I start to move them a little bit. So it just gives me a little bit of soft knee flex. Once you start to crowd this area here through impact, you can hit it either way. Very easy to top it when you're coming upwards like that. So we want yourself to be kind of up here. Then you can go down this way. I'm moving back and forth and then I'm ready to go. subscribe to the idea that you've got to keep the back perfectly straight and we've got to have perfect straight lines in, in our posture. We're really looking for comfort and a position that allows us to rotate freely and effectively. Okay, so this kind of drill of putting the club along the back of the spine and straightening your back, you know, I, I don't really subscribe to that because now we're in a tense position, then I add flex to my knees and now all of a sudden I'm in this stretch position where it doesn't look balanced. Now, I want you to find balls of feet where you're mobile and you're quite narrow in your stance so you can create that pivot and you can be dynamic in your weight transfer. That's gonna be a lot more effective and more importantly, gonna be a lot more repeatable for your golf swing, all right? So. Before we continue with more tips, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Skillless channel for more golf instruction from the world's best coaches golf ball okay now I'm looking at you if I have my head up here my central vision my head's up like this my central vision's out there so I'm using peripheral vision to see you I'm actually looking out of the bottom of my eyes to see you well why wouldn't I just put my chin down and look directly at you <laughs> so the point of neck tilts is so that you're viewing the ball directly through the center of your eyes about drives the only necessary thing is to hit it upwards if you set up like an iron shot and just think of a pendulum the deepest point of your pendulum is right beneath your feet so if you want to maintain you hit it upwards Put the ball position more to the left foot and from this position you can hit it on the way up, get a longer ball flight, get a higher ball flight and less spin. So just set it up to the left foot, neutral setup. The error that I see a lot of players make in their setup, first of all, from just a body positioning standpoint, is when they go to put the trail hand on, they actually push the rib cage open a little bit and the pelvis will often get a little open as well. So all of a sudden, if I show you down the line, instead of having their arms nicely matched in setup and the rib cage fairly neutral to the, or, or parallel to the target line, what they actually got is they've got, they look a little like this. You see a lot of left forearm and you see this right arm very much on top and the rib cage and body itself aligned a little left. So I see this one really, really regularly. 
So what I advise players to do is to get square to the target and then from there go left arm or lead arm only and just learn to keep the rib cage quiet or not move as the right hand goes on. How to stand to an iron shot. Here is an easy routine that you can follow. Firstly, take your grip. Keeping your feet together, I want you to lower that club till it's parallel to the ground. Now make your stance just on shoulder width apart and get the appropriate ball position for your iron. All you're going to want to do now is tilt forward from the hips till the club hits the ground, slightly bend the knees. This is how you stand to an iron shot. Skillless coaches have taught PGA Tour and LPGA Tour players, including Tiger Woods, Cam Smith, Brooks Kepka, Kevin Na, Cameron Champ, and Lydia Ko. If you like this video, subscribe to the Skillless channel to learn more from many of the world's best coaches.